Mount Morris Dam was built because there's been some significant flooding historically, uh, especially in the city of Rochester on the Genesee River. And so to help reduce the risk of that, the local municipalities turned to the Army Corps of Engineers. This project was commissioned under the Flood Control Act of 1944 and built between 48 and 52. So it's been here for a while. And since it's been here, it's prevented over $3 billion worth of flood damages so far. And it's an active operational uh, mission. And it's also a historic property that's kind of a cool thing to come check out and see. Yeah, I know. I, I had a crank while you were trying to find it. Uh, I got one seven feet, seven feet. Well, so we have our own staff here. We've got a staff of about 10 folks. Uh, seasonally, it changes a little bit. Um, but right now, it's mostly our, our maintenance crew members are working inside with the district's dive team. Divers go in one at a time. Um, and inspect the condition of the conduit itself. So that's like the concrete surfaces uh, and, it, and looking for any kind of signs of degradation or loss and resiliency in the structure. Well, this inspection, it's a periodic inspection on the dam. It's required every five years by regulation. Uh, the inspection schedules are, are based on, you know, whether it's a bridge, whether it's a dam. Usually between, it's between four and five years, depending on what the structure is, that we have to do repeat inspections to, to look at them. Uh, our team is getting busier and busier every single year. Uh, we've started out just a few weeks a year. Years ago, we're up to multiple dives, multiple dive trips, multiple dive events per month now. Today is December 7th, 2021. We are at Mount Morris Dam uh, on Conduit 8. Marty Crossan will be the diver. Uh, Brian Dockstetter, standby, Adam Ham, tender, Shannon Shader, tender, and Weston Cross, supervisor. You can't really see anything because the water is so turbid, it's just like a blackout. So you have to go by feel. So we're feeling the, the conduit walls to look for any deterioration or any discontinuities. If we find anything, we report that up. You know, we're videotaping and we have audio. The dive supervisor is at the dive station making sure everything's safe and controlled and we have air and, and then he's tracking when I go in the water, when I come out, and what I what we see. And that spot you had was uh, 6.6 by 3. 